Hi Libra, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for July 22nd through the 28th. This is for Libra Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Um, before we get started, I'm, I, I, I'm going to let you know that I, this is like my fourth try. Okay, it's like my fourth try with you guys. You're my first reading of the day. So I'm going to tell you what happened in a minute, but before I, before I do that, I need to let you know that this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and you should be watching this on my channel, and I'm going to repeat that in a little while. Um, I'm, it's, we have another channel that is under investigation, and I, uh, I need to repeat my channel, so please bear with me while we are going through this. Um, so anyway, this is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Um, this is a message from my guides for you. This reading will not be like anybody else's reading. This is a message from my guides. So I just did, um, I just started one that actually got started and I started doing it and, um, the camera died and it was, it started out really well. The camera died, but, um, I feel the need to start over, start over from scratch. And I may, I may tag that to the end of this video so you can see it. May. I'm going to look at it. I don't know. The, the camera died. So the memory was full. So something, you got to, you got to look at, there's no such thing as coincidence. There's no such thing as coincidence. There's no, there isn't. Everything happens for a reason. So that is kind of like a metaphor. So we had a storm warning and we had deceit. The Deceit card from this deck came out reversed. So it could be the end of deception. There could be some, some something happening very, very quickly with that storm. Okay, something could be happening very, very quickly for you. Um, you may not even see it coming. Sometimes a storm, it may not, it may not seem like it's going to be that bad. I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm not trying to scare anybody. But, you know, it looked like a tornado. It looked like a tornado was coming. So this is something, this is a message you need to hear. Okay? You, to be prepared, be prepared. You may not, you may not see it coming. You may not. Something may happen that you may not see coming. All right? So let's see what we get. Envy. So this is jealousy. Um, I'm not sure if somebody is jealous of you. Um, I think that's what it is. I really do. I mean, this this could be energy, but I feel like we have somebody here that. Uh, oh, it could be you. I'm not sure. Somebody is envious. They could be jealous of what you are getting, or what you got, or how things turned out, or uh, you probably have somebody who is envious of you. And that deceit card was right here, so you, you could have that. Is that makes sense with this card? You could be dealing with somebody who. Um, is very jealous of you and you don't see it. Maybe you don't see this person's jealousy. Maybe you're not aware of how jealous this person is and you need to be careful. Okay? Um, I just gotta be honest with you, right? So, again, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and you should be watching this on the YouTube channel so Soul Source Tarot. Let's go with this one. What do we have for Libra? Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations. Now, this always doesn't have to be about a soulmate. This could be about anybody. But you need to keep an open mind. You know, something is... You're not... Something differs from what is usual to you. You know, I really feel like something, you're not seeing something. You're not seeing something. Um, you may have a soul contract with somebody and you, and you don't know it, okay? And that's probably what this is. This could be, you know, a soulmate that you don't see, okay? You don't see it. You don't see it. They're not who they're not your usual type. So for some of you, I feel like there's somebody for some of you that you there's somebody that you don't see 
that is watching you. I don't know what that means, but... And you probably have no idea. You probably have no idea at all. What do we got for Libra? One card for Libra. Surrendering to the journey. Release control. Release control. And now that that card is going to come out. Oh, no, it wasn't this one. It was in the other one. We had uh, let go of control on the end of this one um, with the other one. So you do need to let go of control. There's something that you need to let go of. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and focus this in so you can see it a little bit better. Try to anyway. Surrendering to the journey. Release control. It's time to let go. All is well. The creator is at your side. Now this could be you that is jealous. You could be. You could be. You could be envious of somebody that you lost. Now this is moving on. Letting go. Let go of, you know... Maybe you, maybe you wanted something, you know, you wanted something and you need to keep an open mind. Maybe this all happened because you have another soulmate. And I know a lot of you guys don't want to hear that. But, anyway, it's time to let go. All is well. The creator is at your side. You don't have to do it alone. Your life is guided. This is not the time to try to control the details of your life. Let it flow. There are times to hold on. But this is the time to completely surrender. <laughs> I can't make this shit up. Okay? I cannot. It is time for you to surrender. You know it is. Surrender to the greater forces of the universe. Let go of wanting to control your future. Simply turn your challenges over to the spiritual source. The creator will escort you on this journey. You have an opportunity to have it all, but you need to surrender. Surrender to the divine. Surrender to the universe. Allow them to bring you the soulmate that you are meant to be with. Your soulmate may differ from you. Your soulmate differs from who you think it is. And it's almost like this person is going to come into your life at like a tornado. Okay, like a tornado. And maybe you've been deceiving yourself with that deceit card. You know, that, that you know, maybe it's the end of deceiving yourself because it came out reversed. Maybe it's, it's, it's really time to surrender and allow and, and be open. Be open to the fact that the universe has something for you that is meant to be. So what do we have for Libra? of coins, lack of respect, lack of communication, lack of compromise, no coming together, no working together. There you are, right? There you are. Maybe you're you're stopping communication. It looks like the sword is down. Maybe maybe uh you've decided, you've decided to end it. You've decided to stand in your power. Maybe you've decided not to communicate. Maybe you've decided to... It looks to me like we have somebody here that is going within. Harnessing their power. Holding on to their power. You know, maybe that's what you got to do. you got to let go of control. You may be trying to control something. Hmm. Knight of Wands reversed. Not taking action. <laughs> Very defensive energy. Four of Coins reversed. Very stubborn. Very stubborn energy. But I feel like you're beginning to open up. You're beginning to let go. You may be, you may be letting go. 
You may be standing in your power. You may be deciding to cut somebody out, to stop communicating, to stop talking, to stop giving your power away. You're not going to move in that direction anymore. You're going to defend yourself. You're going to stand your ground. And you're going to let go. So I feel like you guys are letting go. You may be surrendering completely. Maybe you're sick of it. You're sick of watching everybody else be happy. Maybe you're starting to see things differently. You're starting to open up. Page of Cups reversed. And now this is... Somebody was holding on to somebody that was emotionally unavailable. Completely emotionally unavailable. Right? I mean, the Page of Cups reversed. I think it's a very intense time. I think there's 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 a lot of intensity here. I feel like this is, you know, maybe a love has died, you know, and you have decided to just accept it. I'm not sure. Um, lack of emotion. Maybe you've shut this. You may have shut somebody off completely or they shut you off. It could go either way. Oh. Nine of Wands. I, I think that you have tried and you have held on and you have persevered and you've 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 gained a lot of wisdom. I think that you've come a long way. I think that um, you're you ha you have been determined to get something. You have been very determined. You've been determined to hold on to something, and that's why surrender surrender is here. I see your determination. Um, Knight of Coins, Three of Swords, painful, and Six of Pentacles. It says coins, but giving, giving, give and receive. This is about receiving, getting what you deserve. You're going to be receiving something that is going to help you. This is receiving balance. This is reevaluation as well. I think you have been reevaluating your foundation, your inner foundation. I think you have been reevaluating probably your partnership. You've you've been reevaluating your future. And I feel as though you are you know, it's it's like you've passed some sort of test. You've passed some sort of test about yourself about your self-worth, your self-value. I think that you're standing in your power. I feel as though you have really gained a lot of strength through some sort of suffering. Okay, this is a warrior. It's a warrior. I think that you have, you were probably in a situation where there was a lack of respect and a lack of communication and a lack of compromise. And I think that now we, are, we have come to a point where you are no longer going desiring to go in that direction i feel like you are desire decide, deciding to you know stand up for yourself and to protect yourself and to deal with this pain i think that you are probably pushing somebody away that hurt you i think that's what we got here or they're pushing you away it could go vice versa and I feel as though you're doing so because it's like you're you're realizing that you're worth more. It's like you're you deserve reciprocation. So I think that you are starting to, you know, open up to somebody who can actually give to you, or you're thinking about it either way. I think that you are about to receive something, okay, with this six of coins. Could be money even. I don't know what it is, but it could be money. Okay, you could be receiving some sort of help or some sort of some sort of reciprocation. You're going to you're going to receive something that, you know, is stable. This is you're going to receive some some sort of stable opportunity here, something solid. I feel like somebody there's been a delay. There's been a delay. Things have been going very slow. I think that you were holding on to something that was probably unrequited for quite some time, but I think that you are making progress. I, I, I feel like there could be somebody that is helping you. Uh, I see a lot of pain here, though, with this Three of Swords. This is painful. You may, be, you may be pushing somebody away that is trying to help you. You may be pushing somebody away because you're still in pain. You're still hurting. Um, but I do see somebody opening up here. 
um, something is going to be revealed, okay, with the moon card. Maybe the truth is being accepted. The truth is revealed. Maybe, you know, you've come to some sort of revelation. Maybe you're accepting the truth, okay? The truth can no longer be hidden. Um, you can't live in fantasy land. There's no escaping the truth. Um, there's no going back. You've been thinking about going back. The Eight of Cups reversed. I think you've given it a lot of time. Um, somebody is, has probably left and you've, maybe you've been waiting for them to come back and they're not coming back. They're not taking action. They're just not taking action. And maybe you've come to the realization that you've got to be practical here. You need something stable. I feel as though you've been left behind and that's, you know, I mean the five of coins, right? You've been left behind by somebody. And now you're deciding to protect yourself. You are probably holding on to a false contract or the or something like that. And I know that you guys don't want to hear this, especially the ones that's, that are holding on um, to the fantasy. Okay, so somebody has been trying to escape reality by holding on to a fantasy. But I think now they are realizing that they were holding on to a false contract and they are letting go with this four of coins. They are letting go. They are letting go. And this doesn't have to be you. You. This could be somebody that you that you know that is very dominant in your life that is is leaving. Okay. This could be you know your parents. You know that are getting a divorce. This could go so many different ways. This could be you know somebody that really affects your life that is splitting up. There's a split here. There is a split here. It could be, it could affect you directly, or it could affect somebody that is very close to you. Uh, you know, this is a need to surrender to what is, a need to accept, a need to realize the truth and accept the truth. Whoever this person is, is not coming back. Okay, and this is, and I feel like, you know, you may be feeling lost. You may be feeling empty. You may be feeling like you need to protect yourself. You may be feeling like you need to retreat. You may be feeling um, hurt. Okay, with this Three of Swords. This is happening to lead you in a new direction. Okay, this is a change that is needed. You can't keep playing this game. There's, there's too much juggling. I think whoever there's... This person is that this reading is for has been trying to be flexible, has been trying to adapt, but it's time to bring balance back. It's time to, you know, receive. It's time for you to stop juggling. It's time for you to stop playing this game. It's time to be stable again. It's time to, it is. It's time to be practical. It's time to be responsible. It's time to stop holding on to too much. It's time to, you know, let go of something. And that's what I see. So that's what I got. I see you guys letting go of something that has brought a lot of chaos to your life. I think the universe is helping you to surrender. I think that this is the end of a contract. And that is what I got.